Here is nature. Here is me. Endocrine disruptors are chemicals that are in our everyday lives and we just don't seem to see. They, these chemicals, can mimic or partly mimic natural occurring hormones in the body like estrogen, a female sex hormone. And they can bind to receptors within a cell and block these hormones from binding. And, and these, the normal signal fails to occur and the body fails to respond properly. These chemicals interfere and block the natural hormones and the receptors and how they are made or controlled. For example, by altering the metabolism in the liver. Endocrine disruptors are chemicals used by companies to produce their everyday products and consumers. Endocrine disruptors, including which include drugs, pesticides, compounds, in they're in plastic industry and are sold to consumers. BPA, an endocrine disruptor, is commonly found in plastic bottles, plastic food containers, dental materials, and the lining of the metal food and infant formula cans. Wow infant formula cans. Another exposure comes from receipt paper commonly used by grocery stores and restaurants because today paper is commonly coated with BPA containing clay for printing purposes. Even the products that are BPA free are found to leach endocrine disrupting chemicals. In a study in 2011, it was found that most BPA free products released more endocrine disrupting chemicals more than the BPA containing products. Does that even make sense? Over a five month study in 2008, researchers have found that chemicals like OCPs, PCBs, steroids, and BPA are found in ocean sediments and totaled the EDCs in range of between 77 to 1,796 nanograms per dry sediment weight. Many persistent organic compounds such as PCB and DDT and PBDE include, included accumulate in river and marine sediments. Several pesticides are known to travel readily in groundwater and may cause contamination and these pose a significant risk to groundwater. The presence of EDCs in aqueduct systems, which are waterways, drinking water, and underground water, is considered a major environmental issue. The EPA assesses animal feeding operations to determine how much they could contribute to the endocrine disrupting chemicals that can be found in lagoons and nearby groundwater and waterways. The EPA scientists are developing methods to accurately measure the endocrine disrupting chemicals found from found waste from concentrated animal feeding operations. Endocrine disruptors are natural or synthetic substances that alter the functions of the endocrine system. What are some common ones? Organochlorine pesticides, polychlorinated biphenyls, biphenyl A, and steroid hormones are a few of the many. They are often used by companies to produce everyday products to sell to consumers. Where can EDCs be found? In food and mineral quantities, furniture, electronics, personal care products, cosmetics, cleaning agents, deodorants, pharmaceuticals, pesticides, plastics, water, soil, sunscreen, and breast milk. EDCs are in low doses among thousands of products. Which were sold to humans and led unintended impacts on public health, which are similar to the impacts of other animals' health. However, the danger doesn't end with us. EDCs are truly only stable under whatever recommended storage conditions the product they are contained within has. EDCs are highly toxic to us, animals, and our environment. The effects on animals include, but are not limited to, oxidative stress, neuronal toxicity, aberrations in formation of synapses, egg viability decrease, promotion of the development of intersex individuals, reduced fertility, skewed of sex ratios, abnormalities in reproductive tracts, early puberty, and the compromising of an immune system. Also, the aquatic effects unfortunately are largely unknown, but reproductive impacts in fish populations and invertebrates have been recorded. The effects on plants are much more substantial. There is significant inhibition of pollen tube elongation and pollen tube emergence. The morphological changes to pollen tubes that happen are also negative. There is an imbalance of hormone production, 
and serious adverse effects to essential pollen functions. There is also the potential risk to reproductive success of higher plants. The effects of EDC can unfortunately be passed down genetically. Endocrine disruptors can accumulate within humans, other animals, soil, and water. How endocrine disruptors accumulate in both ground and surface water is largely due to runoff. It makes the water toxic and is considered a major environmental issue. It affects aquatic and amphibious creatures. Researchers have found out that the Cyprinus carpio, which is a com common carp or a European carp, which is a widespread freshwater fish in Europe and Asia, has been contaminated by endocrine disruptor chemicals. They have found out that these fish have 1.5 times 10 to the negative 1 milligrams per liter in their system. This causes a bioaccumulation of these substances and chemicals in the fish. Unfortunately, the only way to dispose of EDCs is to burn them. First, you must dissolve them in a combustible material and then light it on fire. It is imperative in the coming years that we find new waste solutions for EDCs as they are a health threat and an environmental threat. Sewage disposal to water sources may be a major exposure pathway for pharmaceuticals, synthetic and natural hormones, industrial chemicals to human and wildlife directly and via the food chain. This concerns disposal of treated effluents and applications of recycled water. A project in Australia called the Optimist Use of Membrane Hybrid Processes for Water Recycling Project had a core goal of removing EDCs from recycled waters in Australia. Some issues of disposing EDCs are that trace contaminants are difficult and expensive to measure and monitor. Also, simple methods are required to measure cumulative effects, but also qualitative and quantitative techniques to identify potential hazards. Ultimately, the extent of contaminant removal and discharge water quality sought must be linked to the likely application of the treated water. Another setback is that with irrigation of food crops, usage as industrial cooling water or toilet flushing will demand very difficult quality standards. The level of treatment required will also depend on the wastewater characteristics and the economics of treatment on local conditions. Endocrine disrupting compounds such as OCPs, PCBs, BPA, and steroid hormones have been found in four sediment cores in the Gulf from New Orleans surface water and influent and effluent of NOLA Municipal Sewage Treatment Plan. Over five months study in 2008, 21 over 29 OCPs in Mississippi River and 17 over 29 OCPs in Lake Pontchartrain. Some of the global effects in Africa, air pollution, which contains many components that are classified as EDCs, including dioxin, PAHs, and particulate matter, is a pressing problem across Africa. Effects. Heart disease. Stroke. Cataracts. Perinatal mortality. Stillbirths and deaths in the first week of life. Obesity. Persistent organic pollutants, POPs, PAHs, PBDEs, polychlorinated biphenyls, PCBs, and BPAs in Africa water.